The United States is going to discontinue the space program. And before they do that, I just want to say thank you, Canada, for giving us the arm on the space shuttle. You ever seen it? It's got a Canadian maple leaf on it right here. It helps us grab stuff. Before Canada gave us that arm, we would go, oh shit, and watch things float away. <laughs> all my family are hardcore Christians, and they're all overweight. And they're all trying to lose weight on these low-carb diets where you don't eat bread. That's weird. Christians not eating bread. <laughs> and Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diets. <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down a little bit. We want to look good in the painting. <laughs> I was in Kansas and all these tornadoes that just wiped out all these mobile home villages. When are people going to stop making mobile homes? I mean, the smartest pig lived in a brick house, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's as simple as a children's story. Well, a new day has dawned in America, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about the future because Barack Obama is magic. I love Obama, man. Number one, now when I go to Europe, I don't have to pretend I'm Canadian anymore. <laughs> About what time are we going out, eh? I'm glad America made a change. America needed to make a change. I love Elvis Presley. I think Elvis Presley is the perfect metaphor for the United States. Because Elvis started out young and sexy and innovative, and then he became all fat and disgusting and bloated. And I think that's where the United States is now. We're in our fat Vegas jumpsuit Elvis period. <laughs> Too screwed up to know that the audience isn't digging us anymore. This crowd loves me, man. I can do whatever I want. Karate kick, baby. Did my hero just do a karate kick? Sigh. A lot of friends of mine in the States, they're all hung up on conspiracy theories. They think the government caused 9-11 and that the Illuminati controls the world. And all their conversations always start out with the same piece of evidence. Hey man, you ever look at the back of a dollar bill? It's got a pyramid and at the top of that pyramid is an eyeball. And that represents the Illuminati and the same six rich people who own everything that we're all corporate slaves to. Wow. And they would have gotten away with it had they not left that huge clue on the back of a dollar bill. Wow. This is like a bad Scooby-Doo episode. Those darn kids ruined everything. The United States built a wall at the border between the United States and Mexico. That really angers me, man. These are the people who gave us the margarita. <laughs> Why would we separate ourselves from such magic people? I don't know if you read in the newspaper last year, but Mexico is considering legalizing all forms of drugs. If they do that, they have to build a wall to keep me out. <laughs> Mexico, por favor, it's your amigo Tomas, please, Mexico. I can do yard work. <laughs> I can clean Mexico, por favor, mi corazón. <laughs> I did a radio interview in the United States a few weeks ago and they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions. You never hear, he's the bad boy of gynecology. See the dude put on his gloves with the fingers cut off? <laughs> I've been lucky enough to perform in Australia the last few years. I love to go to Australia because when I was a little boy, I had a koala teddy bear. I could not sleep without my koala teddy bear. I'd cry and I'd cry. So the last time I was in Australia, I went to the nature preserve to see the koalas. And the zoologist told me the koalas are promiscuous beings. They have many different sexual partners, and they screw around so much they even get syphilis. I had no idea I was sleeping with such a dirty little slut. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Thank you, Montreal.